Good evening, my dear NEET 2025 aspirants. There is a breaking announcement. In fact, a very, very good news for all the NEET 2025 aspirants. And that will give you a huge sigh of relief, especially if you want to study in the Premier League institutes and that to government colleges. Well, we all dream of studying in AIMS, government medical colleges or AFMC, JIPMER kind of things. But what if I tell you, you can study in IIT and get a biomedical degree and you don't even need NEET for that. And you don't even need J mains or even J advance for that. As bizarre as it may sound or as uh, mystical or dreamy it may sound, but that is true. And uh, that is what exactly the update is. And this was just recently made as a press release by IIT Guwahati, their official press release guys on 21st of April. So let me give you all the details about it. So quickly smash that like button down there. And also subscribe to the Vedantu Neat English channel, guys. Yep, thank you. Hi, Akshara. Hi, Vanik Jens. Hi, Chintu. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Kavita. Good evening, my dear students. Get everyone around, your parents, your brothers, sisters, your batchmates, because this is really a breaking news. So, I'll tell you what this is all about. Okay, IIT Guwahati. Obviously, one of the best IITs. Uh, yep, uh, very old IIT also. Not very old, but not very new too. That's a good thing. Very good placements, very good faculty, very good campus. Yes, the uh, campus is beautiful. I miss the hills and all of that. Anyways, coming back to the program. It's a four-year biomedical science and engineering program with a degree of Bachelor of Science. Now, the best part, it's got a combination of both. Now, you might think, sir, engineering words are, oh my God, maths, blah, blah, blah. Hold on. See, first of all, the future of medical or even engineering also lies where both the branches, both the fields come together and develop the new age technologies. So, you cannot just be dependent on pure medical or pure engineering. You know, even Elon Musk wants to implant chips into our brains and he has founded a company called Neuralink and it's doing really well. And scientists were successfully able to do that in some monkeys and all of that, if I'm not wrong. Anyways, coming back. So, the future lies where a lot of things, interdisciplinary things will be needed. So, as you can see, preclinical, paraclinical and clinical courses, various engineering and skill development courses, last two semesters will be full of electives and projects. Means, you choose what specialization you want, lot of projects will be there. Okay, clinical immersion program where students interact with eminent surgeons in the medical institutes. Okay, just imagine you are in IIT and doing all this. Ima amazing guys. By the way, there are many students whom I know are uh, MBBS doctors have done their MD also and PhD also. Yeah, very old students and now they are slowly moving towards IITs. They are taking up courses in IITs so that they can... Uh, develop their career better or you know uh, want to enter into some interdisciplinary courses so multidisciplinary program for futuristic healthcare product innovations it is in collaboration with aims guwahati yes aims guwahati and naipur guwahati so the faculties the research everything will be shared it brings engineers doctors and scientists together under one umbrella a wide range of opportunities to learn from the domain experts. So, what are the future opportunities? Drugs and therapeutics, biomedical devices, research and development, informatics and AI in artificial intelligence in medicine, guys. Lot of, lot of uh, collaborations being done from Strand, Markless, Lilly, HRS, Tata LXI, TCS, Arthmate, Decision Point, Mobilab. So, master graduates from our school have been recruited by many healthcare industries, a partial list. So, the recruitment which was conducted was done by so many uh, institutes. Now, who is eligible? This is where the catch is. Obviously, things can't go that well, right? There is a small catch. I'll tell you what it is. First of all, you should have given need either or you should be passing out this year or last year. So, one year drop is allowed. Got it? If you are written NEET 2024 freshly, basically last year you passed the 12th standard or this year you have passed the 12th standard, it is allowed. So, two year, three year drop. Sorry guys. Okay. But the second catch is 75% is needed in physics, chemistry, maths, biology. Yep. All four things are needed. So, if you are a PCB student, you are out. Please understand that. So, that is the second catch with a 75% criteria in your boards. 
Now there is a third catch. What is the third catch? It is not a big thing, but it is a simple thing. You can do it very easily. Qualified IAT, ISER Aptitude Test this year. Now you'll be like, what the hell is this ISER Aptitude Test? Sir? Well, it's a it's an entrance test for the premier institutes like ISER. Okay. Now, what is this IAT, sir? What is this exam going to be like? I'll be making a special video on that. No issues. Number one. Number two. Sir, fine. You tell me about this, but I also want to give mock tests. So, I'll tell you one thing. On the Vedantu JEE, -E, not NEET. I'm addressing NEET student now, but on the Vedantu J English channel, which is the same channel where your Diksha ma'am, Shesh sir is already there. We will be conducting IAT, ISER Aptitude Test mock papers, model papers, most expected questions so that you get a hang of it and you qualify at least. Number one. Number two, a detailed strategy video I will be making and I will be sharing the link also. Don't worry. So, this test you can qualify easily. The application starts 25th of April this month, just two, three days from now. Last date over a month, you have good amount of time. And the link will come over here in academics part. It will be coming over here. But there is also a link that they have, oh my God, mentioned, which is iitg.ac.in. It will open up in two, three days. Hold on for that till 25th of April. Hold on for that. So the detailed thing has been mentioned over here. What is uh, uh, what is the uh, idea behind this course? What are the features of this course? What are the programs? What is the curriculum? What is the eligibility? Again, I have mentioned this before. So they have mentioned that entire paragraph in detail. Okay. So this was just announced yesterday. I thought I should tell it to you. How many of you are happy about it? Put up a heart or smash that like button right now. Yeah. Where to apply for ISER aptitude test? Okay. I'll just show it to you. IAT 2025. I'll just show it to you. IAT, Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. Just Google this. You will get it. IAT 2025. Just click on this. Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research. Yes, ISER. Many ISERs are there. Yeah, ISER Pune, ISER Kolkata, ISER Tirupati, ISER Tiruvananthapuram. I don't know how many of you know this. You can apply for it, guys. You don't even need JE for it. I mean, there are crazy courses over here. Okay. Anyways, the application for IIT 2025 is closed. New window of correction will be there. So, if you have applied for it, good. If you have not applied for it, then that is going to be a big issue. So, I think we should probably push or ask IIT to open the window again if they can. That will be great because there are a lot of students who would want to apply for IIT even now because of this special announcement. So, I, I, I just hope that we all share this video. Then I can make a special video requesting, requesting ISER saying that please open up the window for all the neat aspirants. So that will be a humble request from our side, from all the medical students, medical fraternity. If you want me to make the video, please share this video widely. Only a small uh, request from my side. Okay. So that, you know, this can happen and some students might not have applied for IIT. So that can be possible. Okay. Right. So the ISER aptitude test will be May 25th. We'll be making uh, model question papers and everything on the Vedantu J English channel. So these were the important things. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, many students uh, probably in the near future will also give these entrance tests. That's why we keep telling, don't just give neat exam, give other exams also. You never know what might click, what might not click. Cool? Okay. All right. Yeah, the application is over, but we'll make a request to ISER to open up the window. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Take care.